Have you ever been part of the whip end of someone's temper, someone's insults, someone who stripped you apart in front of a whole lot of people, someone who, someone who has hurted you to no extent? Or have you, worse still, been that someone who's done the most unjustifiable things to people just purely out of sheer anger or revenge. There was, a, there was an incident that happened quite recently when I was holidaying in Singapore at a marriage that I had to attend. And this particular incident reminded me of something that had happened very similarly quite a few decades back when I was a very young, young boy. And when I witnessed that way back in the past, there were a few very important learnings that I gathered from that, which, which that incident, which actually helped me to become a better version of myself. Let me tell you all about that. Welcome back. Welcome back to the musings of an old maverick. Welcome back to the archives of my life. And let me tell you, it, one, it was one of the worst experiences that I had. There was this fat, shy, cow-looking person who actually stripped apart one lady who was practically twice her age within a family, blaming her for not being invited, I think, to this lady's daughter's wedding or some such thing. And the worst was that this lady's family just sat and looked on. And what I saw was a wonderful person who's come all the way from I don't know where to attend this, this wedding, being stripped apart in front of people that whom she knew and who knew her, people who she didn't know, and people who she had to eventually build bridges with because those people were the new relatives which be part of that existing family. And this particular filthy incident take, took me back almost three decades when I was a young man, young man. And a very, very similar incident happened then. Very similar incident. But then there are four wonderful learnings I got from that incident, which actually helped me to become a better version of myself. The first one was, life is very, very exclusive to everyone. Your life is exclusive to you. My life is exclusive to me. You can't question what I'm doing and I can't question what you're doing. I can't question what you intend to do with your present and your future. I can't question what you did in your past. Your life is beautifully exclusive to you just as it is so beautifully exclusive to me. And because it's so exclusive, we are very guarded about it, very rightfully. So that was one important learning I understood from that particular incident so many years ago. The second important learning was, don't be judgmental. Who the hell are you to judge anybody else? Whether they're right, wrong, better, less better, weak, strong, whatever. Every human being, just like you and me, walk around with skeletons in the company. Imperfections galore. 
And if we, you and me, are so imperfect, which we are, then what right do we have to question anybody else's perfections or imperfections? Actually, imperfections. So, I always believe, carry your imperfections on your sleeves and walk around with it proudly. Because it is so wonderfully human to be imperfect. And that's the way I look at it. That's the way I look at life. I enjoy my imperfections. You know what it does to me when I see others? I love them so transparently, so selflessly for the simple reason that when I happen to bump into the imperfections, all I got to do is look at my sleeve. And there they are there too. My third learning. Don't spend all your time insulting people because ultimately the world is going to look at you and be very happy that you're not part of their lives. If you're spending all your time insulting people, obviously there's a certain frustration within you which is absolutely uncontrollable by you. So what's the idea about walking around and trying to insult others? I mean, I don't see how you'd appreciate it if someone like, like me had walk up to you and insult you. Would you? So, it's so pointless sitting and scheming up to insult others. That's not the way life was meant to be. And the fourth important learning. Learn to love and be grateful. You know, relationships are absolutely God-given. Universe decides who's the best for you. Because people help you become constantly a better version of yourself. So it is, it is so, so ridiculous not to love and not to be grateful for the people who love you too. You could say and say, I give a bloody damn. The fact is, if 8 billion people on planet Earth turn around and give you a damn, you're going to be a very, very lonely traveler on planet Earth. Life, believe me, life is all about loving, laughing and living it king size. And that's what I want to tell that fat cow when I hope this, this video finally reaches that person. Don't spend your time putting your, digging your nose into other people's lives. If you weren't invited, it just may be that you weren't worth it. That's the way the world will look at it, the way you behave. Number two. Respect our Indian culture. That lady was twice your age. Respect our Indian culture when we believe that elders are all respected and never questioned. And number three, live life king size. Love, laugh, enjoy life. Don't spend your time digging up unnecessary incidences which have nothing to do with you. This is Anand signing off for now. Thank you so much for being part of my archives. And until we meet again, have an absolutely stunning life. Ciao for now.